What was your school life like and do you think it's changed for the better? Can I thank the students of Parkview for their uh, questions for UK Parliament Week? Emily, what was my school like? Well, it was a large uh, comprehensive school in uh, North Nottinghamshire. Uh, was school different as it today? Yes, I think it very much was. Uh, in my day, there was no mobile phones or even computers. Uh, and I think the pace of life was uh, possibly a little less uh, uh, quicker than it is today in terms of the social media and uh, computers which people have to deal with today in 24-hour news. Uh, did I enjoy school? Yeah, I did enjoy school. Uh, I think it was uh, difficult at times, like I think you all find school difficult at times, uh, but certainly much in, in terms of uh, the discipline that, that was there when I was at school, I think it's very different today. I think the opportunities that you have today in terms of uh, the access to knowledge as advanced I think is something which uh, is certainly got its advantages but I know in terms of things like social media and cyberbullying and other things as its disadvantages uh, but I would say just uh, do your best at school do what you uh, find interesting and actually ensure that you enjoy it because it is a important part of your life and life at school as later is what you make of it What's the hardest part about campaigning? Kate, your question about what is the hardest thing about campaigning? Well, I think it's the issue of actually trying to meet as many people uh, in an election campaign, for example, as possible. And I think increasingly what's happened, and I think it is partly down to social media, is that people have become less tolerant in terms of different views. Uh, I think the important thing is that people can have strong views, they can disagree, but we don't have to fall out. In terms of campaigning, I think in terms of making sure that uh, I'm accessible, it's something that I've always done uh, since I was first elected in 2001. Uh, is it hard work sometimes, uh, addressing public meetings, knocking on doors, listening to people's variety of problems? Uh, yes, it is, uh, but it's also quite enjoyable because one of the key things that I do enjoy about being a member of Parliament is meeting people. We meet some fantastic people in our community who uh, come from various, various uh, walks of life, uh, but also are working very hard to ensure that their community uh, is the best possible thing for them uh, and their families to live in. And it's important that we actually recognise that, that you know, not everything is these days negative. There's a tremendous amount of things going on out there which we should be proud of and part of campaigning is getting out and meeting people and recognising the hard work they're doing for our local community. Hi, my name is Sophie and my first question is how and why did you become an MP? Sophie, you ask uh, how and why did, I, why did I become a Member of Parliament and my usual, reaction, my usual response is because I'm nosy uh, and the reason for that is is that uh, when I see things that uh, I feel are wrong or could be improved, uh, I want to do something about it. I think that was my main um, reason for uh, not only becoming a councillor, but also a member of parliament. In terms of questioning things and accepting things, is I think most people go into uh, politics, or whether it be a councillor uh, or a member of parliament, because they actually want to make things better. And that's not a part of political thing. I think genuinely people with different political uh, views do it because they want to change things and make things better. Whether that is on a local basis in your community or nationally as well. Uh, so I think the message I would say to you is if you actually want to make a difference and you see things in your community you're not happy with, uh, don't just sit back, get involved and try and change them. Hi, my name's Becca. And my name's Emily. Our first question to you is, in your role, you tend to travel a lot. What item could you not live without on your travels? Becca, yes. Uh, if there's one downside of my job, I do a lot of travelling, uh, whether it's from the constituency uh, to London uh, every week, or uh, some of the responsibilities I have on committees I sit on, which includes international travel. You ask what uh, is the thing I wouldn't live without uh, in travelling, it's a book, it's as simple as that, because uh, travelling sometimes uh, you have long uh, periods of time uh, that you need to fill in and having a good book uh, is something I've always thought, uh, I always feel 
that I haven't got one. Uh, it's something I miss. So uh, I, re I would recommend anyone going on long journeys uh, or travelling a lot, uh, a very good book. Hello, my name is Dylan and my first question is, what do you normally do at work and what are the most common problems you come across? Dylan, you, you asked what I do at work. Well, there's no, the, the great thing about being a member of parliament is it's very varied. Uh, it involves two aspects. One is uh, being the representative in parliament for the people of North Durham, and that's sometimes speaking in parliament, raising issues uh, on the floor of the House of Commons, or as I've been doing this last week, sitting in a committee scrutinising a bill. Uh, uh, which is going through uh, its various committee stages in Parliament. So there's that side uh, to the job. The other side is here in North Durham in the constituency, and that's not just meeting constituents uh, who've got individual problems, but also uh, meeting businesses and community organisations to ensure that uh, you know problems that they have got can be uh, can be uh, looked at and hopefully solved. That's part of the job, actually, which uh, is quite rewarding when you're able to change something which uh, a local uh, person has got a difficulty to come up against. You also ask what's the most common problem. It's varied. Um, there's a lot of issues uh, locally around environmental issues, housing uh, and benefits issues. But the key thing in being a member of parliament is that I can actually uh, speak to individuals who can make a difference. Uh, and sometimes cut through the bureaucracy uh, that uh, local people uh, seem to come up against. And it's one of my pet hates that uh, local people sometimes uh, have problems because bureaucracy stands in their way. And if I can help them and actually change things and you know make life better for them, uh, that's what I'm here to do.